Hey everyone, so here we have another Python challenge that I wanted to work through with you all. So stick around because you may learn something new by working through this with me. So this challenge is called Even Groups. In this challenge, we need to create a function called split integer that takes two integers as inputs A and B. The integer A needs to be split into B groups as evenly as possible. Okay, so down here we've got a few examples of inputs and outputs. Okay, so looking at this first example, it looks like 7 is needing to be split into 3 groups as evenly as possible. So we have 2, 2, and 3 because 7 can't perfectly divide into 3 so there's some left over. Alright, and looking at example 2, looks like we're trying to split 3 into 5 equal parts, so we've got 2 zeros at the beginning and only 3 ones, and then we've got 10 being split into 4 equal parts here. Okay, so first let's define our function split integer, with number and parts as our inputs. Instead of calling them a and b, I think labeling them number and parts would be more readable. Okay, so next what I want to do is actually divide my number by the number of parts we want to split it into. So what I'm going to do is call the built-in divmod function in Python with number and parts as the inputs. Now the cool thing about this function is that it returns the quotient and the remainder of this division. So if I'm dividing 7 by 3, it will give me 2 with a remainder of 1. So I'm going to capture those outputs by setting this equal to quotient, comma, remainder. Now let's think further into this. If I have an input of 7 and 3, we know we need to take 7 and split it into 3 groups. Now if I divide 7 by 3, we know we'd get 2 with a remainder of 1. So that's where we get our quotient variable equal to 2 and our remainder variable equal to 1. Okay, so with this in mind, if we think about this, since we have a remainder of 1 here, we know we'll have only one slot here that has a plus 1. If we had a remainder of 2, we would have 2 slots with a plus 1. Okay, so that means the rest of these slots should just be filled with our quotient. So let's determine how many slots we need to fill with our quotient. To do that, let's call it base parts count, and I want to take our parts and subtract the remainder from it. So in this case, if we have three parts and only one remainder, we should have two slots remaining to put our quotient in. Now what I want to do is fill in those two spots with our quotient. So to do that, I'll say base parts is equal to base parts count times the quotient as a single valued list. So multiplying a list like this will just duplicate it. So since base parts count is equal to 2 and quotient is equal to 2 in this case, we would get a list of 2, 2. Okay, so now that we've dealt with the left side of the list, let's now handle the rest. So let's define a variable called extra parts. Now how many cells left are we dealing with? Well, since the remainder is 1, we are only dealing with one slot. So we'll say remainder times our quotient again, but this time we'll add 1 to it. Alright, so now all that's left is to combine our base parts and our extra parts into one list. So let's return base parts plus extra parts, and there we go, we should be done. Alright, so now that we've got our function, I've got a series of tests down here that I want to run. So let's run this, and there we go, we got all passed. So hopefully you enjoyed working through this problem with me. Hopefully you picked up something new along the way. I think I'm going to start making Python challenge videos like this one in hopes of teaching by doing. So be sure to leave some feedback about this new format. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.